So Monique, all the way from London. I hope it's a beautiful day in London. It's that time of the year where the days should start getting better. Spring in London is always very, very pleasant and it's much like the weather we've had today. Um, well, Monique, the male warthogs are not that territorial, but they are defending a female. So you'll find that sometimes male warthogs will not actually be anywhere near a female. They'll be on their own and be feeding actually sometimes together as two males. I've seen two male warthogs walking around together completely unfazed. But when it comes to females and the chance of mating, that's a whole different story. Then you'll find these warthogs will compete and they'll lock these tusks together and they'll hit one another and try and kind of establish a dominance over those particular females to be able to mate with them. And we are coming into the mating season for warthogs because ultimately they do give birth around October. So it's now time that they start mating. But I'm gonna try just catch up a little bit with these this lot. He is getting much closer now. He's kind of on their scent. Whether or not he's actually seen them is the next question. But this has got to be one of the most incredible warthog sightings I've had. So, Cynthia, when they become big, big adult males, then yes, they do become solitary for the most part. Although, if there's a particular food source, so let's say something like um, marula fruits, then you'll find sometimes males kind of in the same area together and not too phased by one another. It's also that time of the year is way outside of the breeding season, and so you won't see too much competition. But when there's a sort of situation like this where there's females around and there could be potential mating, then they are solitary and they will then fight one another to try and get to that female. So there's the male that is with the female at the moment, feeding at the back there. So you can see he's got those big warts around the eyes protruding from the face and then those secondary ones on the cheeks. And here comes the imposter or the intruder. And let's see now, the other one's noticed. See the other one's looking? What's going to happen now? Isn't this amazing? We've got a warthog showdown or square off. Now I think the one closest to us is actually bigger. Look here, he's coming. This is so interesting. I can honestly say this is the first time that I've ever seen this behavior in all the years. Generally because warthogs run away and we don't get to see much of them. But today I think he's so preoccupied with the sort of tracking down of the other one. And this one is now fixated on this male. And let's see what happens. I think the one closest to us is much bigger so it might be quite interesting. So, James, the sort of breeding season for the warthogs, I just want to see what happens here, is very, very, much like a lot of the other antelopes, it's quite a short period of time. It only lasts a few weeks, so between sort of four and six weeks, you'll find most of the activity taking place. Seems like he's turning off a little bit now. This is really, really interesting. And that is definitely a younger individual. You can see his tusks are not quite as big, warts are also not as big as developed. And I wonder if the other one might just pop out of the bush again close by. But yes, it's not a very long season. I suppose you'll find there are sort of outliers on either side, but generally around a sort of six week period that these guys will get into their mating and get the females pregnant. And then they'll carry on and go back into their sort of solitary mode. You see this one's coming closer now. You can also see he's stopped feeding. He's still got a mouthful of grass as he's kind of watching where this sort of intruder is coming from. Look at the posture as well. You can see the neck is raised. He's making himself look bigger. Now where's the other one? This is very interesting. I'm just gonna try and see if I can't sneak forward a little bit, just so we can see where the other one is. He's just gone behind a little thicket. Isn't this amazing? I don't think there's been too many documented cases of two warthogs sort of approaching each other like this. And like I say, I certainly haven't seen it. There's a young male that's just come out. That's not the same boy, I don't think. Could be actually, yes, it is the same one, sorry. Now let's see, they've seen each other. There we go, look, it's chasing it. There we go, look at that. He's in getting rid of the other one. He's saying, that's it, you don't come any closer. This is my area. Look at that. He's pushed this warthog away. There we go, but he's sorry, not this time. And there he goes off back to his females to make sure. And I think that's sort of enough of a message has been sent to say that you are in my territory, out, get out of here, this is not where I want you. Look at that, and there he goes. Wasn't that cool? Sorry, buddy. 
Yes, off you go. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. Here we go. 